Oh. What? What? Yay! <laughs>What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code it resolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. There's a little hair on my microphone. I hope you guys are doing well today. Please make sure if you are not already that you go ahead and subscribe. We really would appreciate it. We do have a giveaway going on right now until the 24th, which is next week. Uh, if you enter or if you subscribe, you are entered to win a free Crimson Val bundle, uh, which is provided by our amazing sponsor, Grand Slam. So please do check that out. We're talking standard today, we're talking Irith Burn. So this is a very interesting new card, uh, Irith Tor Tormented Prophet. I might be saying her name wrong, I apologize, but uh, it is a 2-4 for three. If you would draw a card, exile the top two cards of your deck instead, you may play those cards this turn. Uh, you'll notice what this does is kind of encourage you to play a lot of cheap stuff, uh, and be able to kind of double up on a bunch of spells in that same turn. To capitalize on that, we also have things like Thermo Alchemist, which whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you get to untap it, and then you can tap it to ping the opponent. So essentially, this is a repeated pinger. The idea is to burn the opponent out. Uh, we do have a lot of things to do that, so Play With Fire is in here. Uh, Royal Eruption, uh, dealing 3 damage to any target, kicking it, deals 5 damage, which is quite good. Uh, and of course, uh, Igneous Inspiration, which does have the learn side of things, so we actually get uh, access to the full learn sideboard as well. Uh, we do have Bloodthirsty Adversary, 2-2 two, two for uh, two with haste. When it enters the battlefield, you can pay three any number of times, and when you do that, uh, put that many 1-1 one, one counters on it, then exile up to that many instant or sorcery cards with value three or less from your graveyard and copy them, you can cast any number of those copies without paying their mana cost. So the idea is very easy. Get this out, pump it up a lot of times, hopefully copying a lot of these burn spells and then finish off the opponent. Uh, we do have expressive iteration as well as consider for a little bit of card selection off the top. Um, Ancestral Anger, one mana sorcery, target creature gains trample and gets X plus X plus zero until the end of th the turn, where X is one plus the number of cards named Ancestral Anger in your graveyard. Uh, so these help build upon each other. They also draw you a card, which is quite useful, uh, especially with Earth out on the field. And then of course, Fading Hope is in here is just a way to kind of get through for some extra damage. We do have Den of the Bugbear as well as just an extra way to deal some damage. And that's pretty much the whole deck. It's kind of interesting. Um, uh, this was built by Legend VD, not by me, so I just want to uh, credit whoever made the deck uh, anytime we can. So thank you, Legend VD, for putting this together. Uh, he did post it over on Aether Hub, so it was actually a really cool little list to uh, to see. So let's go ahead, guys. Let's see what we can do with it. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. I love a good Is It Burn deck. Uh, so we'll send it through a few games. We'll see how it does. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, do we like this hand? Not really. To be honest, um, having no blue mana is a little little scary to me. Uh, now we do have ways to get it, but I'm gonna try mulliganing. Uh, all right, this is a keep, uh, and I think it's actually expressive iteration that we we throw back here. Uh, all these cards are really good, but we've got a nice one, two, three here, uh, and then from then on out, we should be able to draw ourselves into whatever we need to. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty easy keep. I think a much better hand than the first as well, so I'm all too happy to to see that. Uh, excited to try this one out, guys. Um, also, in case you haven't noticed, we did start back the challenge week <clears throat> uh, this week for uh, the channel. If you're interested in taking part in that, I highly encourage you to do so. It's a really, really, really great time. We have a lot of fun. You guys do some really fun and creative builds around specific cards, so it's really cool to see what you come up with. Uh, and I'd love to see... Ooh. All right, that's interesting. Uh, so I'd love to see what you guys have. If you wanna take part in that, please do. You only have to submit a deck. That's all you've gotta do. Uh, from then on out, you can uh, be entered to win. If you are chosen and you do win, uh, you actually get some some free uh, proxy cards that we normally only give to, uh, interesting, uh, that we normally only give to our Patreon members. So just a heads up. If you're interested, it's a really nice little uh, little way to get your hands on some of that and just flex your 
your deck building skills. Uh, it's always a good time to see what you guys come up with. Oh, speaking of, this is a Necro Duality list. Heck yes. Uh, Necro Duality is this week's uh, deck, actually, or uh, build around card. All right, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. Let's get this out of there. Uh, I don't particularly want them to have the ability to uh, go ham with some stuff, so we're gonna we're gonna take our time and kill everything that we can kill. Uh, this will most likely, obviously, be our next play though, uh, which is kind of nice. This essentially makes every draw just extraordinarily good. Okay, we're gonna get two of these bad boys. Uh, that's really good. Yep. You can exploit itself, that's worth noting. <laughs> that's such a good way to refill your hand. Holy crap. That's really good. That's really, really good. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you got it. Uh, let's go ahead and ping him. Gotta make sure we do that at the end of every turn, essentially. Uh, let's do this. We do want the blue for the consider here. Uh, let's tap this. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, I think I will put that in the graveyard. Alright, cool. Um, and we'll pass. We do lose those two cards, that kind of sucks, but that's fine. Alright, well, here's to hoping, guys. Uh, I don't have super high hopes, but we'll do the best we can. This is gonna be a really tricky one. Uh, getting double double the creatures, essentially, with Necro Duality is pretty sick, so... Uh, we'll see. Woohoohoo! Speaking of... Okay. Yep. Uh, they get two of those, which is really good. And now this is a 5-2 Death Toucher. Cool. <laughs> All right, yep, you got it. Yep. Now we could actually block the Fell Stinger if we wanted to with the Urith, uh, only because we don't super need her, but since we've got another in hand, but I think I'm just gonna take it. Uh, this, this upcoming turn should be an interesting one. Oh no. Well, that's really bad. Uh, okay. That's really bad, we just got two lands off the top. Um, no attacks. Ooh, not good, not good. Okay, well, here's to hoping. Um, I guess we do want to leave her on the field though, just because we, we really don't want to lose out on the extra card draw. Oh, not good. This Necro Duality is very solid in this list. As we found in the challenge week, it's not been super good uh, with a lot of our other stuff. Okay, calm down. Um, yep. So that's gonna die anyway. Uh, yep. So I think we kind of need to block here. We can tap it just to ping one. All right. And then they gain all that life back, so that's good. <laughs> Don't really think we have an out here, uh, but we'll see. Especially when we just keep drawing lands. All right, we're gonna concede. That was really unfortunate. It is what it is. We can't help the draws. Uh, four lands on top is kind of rough, though. Not gonna lie. Let's uh, let's jump into another uh, another game. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and do we like this hand? It's not great. We do have the out, though, of our uh, our inspiration, as well as the play with fire. I'm gonna try it. Let's give it a shot, guys. This is nice just to have some interaction and burn in the early turns, uh, especially against a deck like this, so. Perfect. Let's do this. We've got the play with fire up. Um, I'm assuming this is a Hobgoblin deck, which is absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Truthfully, we should wait, but... We're not gonna have much to do in the later turns of the game, I'm assuming, so that's a really good draw just to give us that blue mana. We don't play Expressive Iteration yet. Uh, we wait until a turn where we can play a land off of it. 
Okay. Um, do we just slow them down or do we not worry about it and just use the inspiration? I think we just use the inspiration. Let's hold on to this. Uh, let's go ahead and do it now. Okay. Uh, now, what do we get uh, is the big question. It might just be environmental sciences. Let's do that. Uh, it's not super exciting, I know, but uh, it gains us a little bit of life, which is obviously going to be pretty relevant against a deck like this. Um, all right, let's do this first. Um, put one of them into your hand. We definitely want that in our hand. One into the library and one not. Uh, sadly, though, I think we're going to end up doing this instead because we kind of need to Fading Hope this. Uh, yeah. It's a bit of a tell that we have something in our hand, uh, which is kind of funny, but it is what it is. Uh, let's get this out of here now that they can't replay it. It also doesn't deal any damage yet, which I think is important. Uh, yeah, easy keep. That's going to be able to kill something here, which is obviously relevant. We basically just have to one for one all their stuff until they have no stuff. Um, that's, that's pretty much the game plan here. Um, let's environmental or expressive iteration, excuse me. Uh, oh, very nice. Let's get that into our hands. Um, we'll put that into the deck and we'll do this. What this allows us to do is very clearly just eruption. Get rid of this now. Now, obviously, this upcoming turn, most likely they're just going to play the Hobgoblin, potentially something else with it. I don't know, but that's kind of OK. Uh, we're we're handling it OK at this point. We've got the eruption to deal with the Hobgoblin uh, at some point. We can also consider this turn, and I think we will just to be efficient with our mana uh, and also maybe hit another land. Um, it'd be nice if we had a fading hope we could bounce this now, but unfortunately, we just can't. Uh, I guess we don't need to, we've got the eruption. Uh, decline, I'm gonna draw that. I'd like to get as many lands as possible here, uh, to be honest. Uh, let's do this. Let's eruption on the hobgoblin. And let's play the, ran the land on the red side. We do wanna get it on the red, so that way we can uh, activate this as many times as possible. Sure. That's fine. Um, it's not good for us, but as long as they're not progressing heavily, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, let's throw this out there. We've got options now, I guess, don't we? Um, so we can do this for what? One, just once. So I think I'd rather environmental sciences here first. We'll get a red source. Uh, we can still just do this for one, so I guess we'll do that. A lot of pay. What do we want to hit? Um, we get to play it for free, worth noting, so I think we get this. We're going to hit this, uh, and we're going to pull you. Mascot Exhibition should be a really good game ender. Um, that was a pretty solid turn. We did a good bit there. We gained a little life. We got rid of a token. We also got a decent attack in. Sure. That's fine. Um, not the end of the world. Let's play you. Let's play you. We're just going to be more aggressive at this point in the game because they're so... I mean, they're clearly kind of low on resources if they're just activating the lands. Um, sure. That's not the end of the world. Neither is that. <laughs> uh, we actually just have another adversary we can play. Wow, okay, they're just going crazy. Wow, four burn spells. That was really sick. Um, yeah. I'm gonna block here. No reason not to. Um, all right, uh, let's throw you out. Let's throw you out. Put you on the bottom. And I think we, uh, no, I think we pass. We want to play that adversary when we can actually 
burn him out or do something crazy like that. So as long as they don't kill us this turn, it's kind of okay, uh, which doesn't look like they're going to be able to. So um, we do have to keep in mind we have a den as well. We keep forgetting about that technically. Oh, this is really sick. Okay, so let's do this. <clears throat> Dude, this is really good. <laughs> uh, sure, let's do this. <laughs> wow, uh, that was really good. Um, let's do that. Let's play the Thermo Alchemist, I suppose. I uh, wish we could have hastened that first, but that's fine. All right, let's do this. Uh, we'll put that in the graveyard. We don't really need it. There's a royal eruption. Fantastic. Let's kill that. Just to get it out of there. Um, and we'll attack in. I mean, that was a pretty solid turn. <laughs> like, I can't be upset about that. Um, so they could have activated that, the den, but they did not. That's interesting. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. They saw the writing on the wall. We were going to do something really sick there, but that's OK. Uh, we were going to activate the adversary and just keep uh, uh, powering up the the Ereth again. But that's full. That's cool. That worked. That was great. We got a win. Let's jump into a game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and this is a pretty easy keep. We've got two lands here. Oh. What? Yay. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for our fourth game, technically. Uh, and the question is, do we keep? I think we can. Uh, we've got three lands. We've got a little bit of interaction. Uh, and we also have the Thermo Alchemist plus Irith. And if either one of those sticks uh, or both, we're in pretty good shape. So uh, let's throw this out there just in case. Chances are we won't play it, but I mean, we literally can't. Um, all right, cool. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's throw you out and let's just throw the Thermo Alchemist here. Um, we're not in a hurry to kill the farmhands. We kind of want them to to spill the mana into it first and then be able to Royal Eruption it. Okay. Well, that's an easy Roiling Eruption uh, uh, target, so that's fine by me. Throw you out. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Happy to go ahead and kill that. Um, and pass. The reason I wanted to do that and not play the Yurith, if they if they wanted to, or if they happen to have another one of these, I don't particularly want them to to just be able to kill it. Okay. Um, they're really like they're really upset about that hitting the field, so that's really funny to me. Uh. Yeah, let's do this. Put one into our hand. We'll put expressive iteration in the hand, that into the deck, and then that there. So that way we can just go ahead and play this. Um, we'll go ahead and play the consider here. We'll decline. We do want that. Anything to deal with creatures here is going to be helpful. We'll just pass. Um, again, maximum amount of damage most likely is like, what, one or two here. So not super worried about that. That's a little annoying. Um, I mean, this does eventually kill it, but we're not really there yet. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we do? I think we throw this out there, leaving up the fading hope. Um, oh, really? Really? That's interesting. Is that... Is that actually how this works? <laughs> I don't know, let's try it. That's weird. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I didn't realize that's how that worked. All right. I mean, we're gonna take a hit here, but that's really funny. I didn't realize that we could just play it off of that. And they're just gonna borrow time again on the Thermo Alchemist, okay. We're kind of just buying time until we can kill this. If we can kill that, we're in much better shape. All right, let's do that. Um, really wish we could kick this, but we don't have quite enough. Um, 
Let's go ahead and draw a card here. Solve. Okay. Um, we'll end the turn. Uh, before they go to combat, we will bounce this. Yep, you got it. Resolve. Mm hmm. Gonna bounce this now. Um, put that on the bottom. We do not need more lands. Uh, we very much just need burn stuff. Um, and they're just gonna get to play this again, which is not great, but fine. All right, so we do this. Um, we have to kill this. There's no doubt. So we have to kick it. Have to kill it. Um, and now we're gonna be going down to two. Uh, and hoping for the best. Because <laughs> uh, chances are we're pretty dead here. Um, oh, yeah, we're definitely dead. Okay. Um, I mean, we can kill it, but... Uh, yep. I guess we take that. Uh, we play this. None of this really matters. <laughs> we're super dead regardless. Um, we were so close to stabilizing, we just didn't quite get there. Um, we'll give him, <laughs> give him, oh no, it was right there. Oh, that's fine. I mean, truth be told, we did the best we could in that matchup, I think. They just had so much removal for a mono whitelist, my goodness. Uh, that was pretty, pretty interesting. Let's try one final game, guys. We've got just a few more minutes here. Let's see if we can get another win. All right, guys, this will be our final game. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty easy keep. We do need a couple extra lands here at some point, but look at that. Ask and you shall receive. We're fine. Um, here we could just fading hope whatever they play if we feel the need. We do feel the need. Um, let's get that out of there now. Um, I guess we'll keep a lands. I mean, we're we're gonna want lands. We've got quite a number of cards that are gonna care about that. So let's get you down now. Um, this is just a nice little blocker. Um, if they decide to, they may tr choose to kill it versus playing this. Although it looks like they could do both if they want. Um, all right. Play you. I'm gonna go ahead and do the most uh, oh, whoops, let's activate this and then do that. Um, and then, hmm, I don't really know what we want here. Um, environmental sciences is always kind of the safe play, so I guess I'll take that. All right, uh, we do need to remember to ping them at the end of the turn, that's worth noting. This is such a good enabler for the treasure deck, like, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, uh, they're just gonna draw some stuff. Create a couple treasure tokens, that seems good. Get their land for the turn. What you got? What do you have? Another one. Cool, we've got the answer for that. Uh, hopefully they just don't have a follow-up play. That's kind of the biggest worry, because then it gets a lot stronger with this. All right, um, let's play you for red. I think we play another Thermo Alchemist first. We tap this one. And we'll just go ahead and Roiling Eruption on the Painter. Cool. I mean, we're handling what they've got okay, but they still have like a butt ton of mana. So <laughs> like at some point we're gonna have to worry about that. Um. We do, if we get one more land, okay, cool. Um, that's terrifying. Yep. Well, there it is. <laughs> yep. Cool. That's so good. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, yeah. Uh, wow. Does this have, it does not have trample. I'm gonna block the six. I don't, I don't know, that's terrifying. Um, okay, cool. Well, we're probably just dead then. 
Uh, okay, there's that. Which isn't enough. Um, I mean, it's kind of enough. It's not really, but it kind of is. All right, let's do this. Let's auto pay once. We play this guy. On this. Tap this. All right. So that's not great, <laughs> to be honest, but <laughs> it's like the best we can do. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying. Olivia is so good. Um, the problem is they can just replay the Huntmaster here at some point, so... Like, now-ish? Yep, you got it. Super dead. It's cool. Everything's fine. Not a problem. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, get your little... Oh, they just discarded it. Oh man, that's so good. Okay, yeah. Freaking heck, man. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're really good at this game. I'm gonna take nine, screw it. <laughs> oh man. There was no hope. There was absolutely no hope. Uh. All right, well now you're just adding insult to injury. <laughs> like, what's the point? Yep. Um. <laughs> sure. Sure. We'll do this. Um. Hang on. All right, um. Do we have any mana left? We have one. Perfect, that's plenty. It doesn't matter what we get here, we're super dead. All right, I'm gonna concede, guys. Let's chat about this list. <laughs> All right, so not the best showing for Irith, uh, uh Burn here, and that's okay. I, it was a bit of a silly list, but I do really like the card, um, Irith, or however you say it. I think that uh, she's actually quite good. I think you can do some really nice stuff with her. She's very broken in the sense that you can, basically every time you're drawing a card, you're drawing an extra card, which is ridiculous. Um, and there's no limit to it, which is kind of awesome because that means you can just keep going. Um, so it's a good enabler. I think this is the kind of deck that um, makes use of that okay, but isn't necessarily, like it's not doing anything crazy broken, it's just burning, um, which is good, don't get me wrong, but uh, it didn't quite get there for us. I mean, we did get a couple wins, but I don't think it was anything, I don't think that's the norm is what it felt like. So regardless, it was a very fun list. Legend VD, thank you so much for putting it together and sharing it via Aetherhub. Uh, but wow, I mean, what an interesting one. It was really fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you very soon for some more standard gameplay videos.